She is known for her iconic status in New Hollywood, having portrayed eccentric and offbeat characters in various studio and independent films in the 1970s. She is recognized for her extensive career spanning over 50 years, with nearly 200 credits in both independent and mainstream films. Her name is Karen Black. In the realm of American cinema, one name stands out for her unique and offbeat portrayals, Karen Black. Born and raised in suburban Chicago, Black's journey to stardom began when she studied theater at Northwestern University before venturing to the bright lights of New York City. It was there that she made her mark on Broadway in 1965, catching the attention of Francis Ford Coppola who cast her in his film, You're a Big Boy Now. But it was her role as an LSD-tripping prostitute in Dennis Hopper's iconic road film Easy Rider that catapulted her to fame. This breakthrough performance led to her starring as a hopeless waitress in the drama Five Easy Pieces, earning her an Academy Award nomination and a Golden Globe for Best Supporting Actress. Black's talent and versatility were undeniable, as she effortlessly transitioned from glamorous country singer in Robert Altman's Nashville to an aspiring actress in John Schlesinger's The Day of the Locust. Throughout her career, Black showcased her range by taking on various roles in horror films like Dan Curtis's Trilogy of Terror and Alfred Hitchcock's final film Family Plot. She even starred as a trans woman in the Broadway debut of Robert Altman's Come Back to the Five and Dime, Jimmy Dean, Jimmy Dean, solidifying her reputation as a fearless and boundary-pushing actress. Despite her success in both mainstream and independent films, Black never lost touch with her artistic spirit. She wrote her own screenplays and even dabbled in playwriting. Her legacy as a cult horror icon was sealed with her villainous role as a mother in Rob Zombie's House of One Thousand Corpses. Sadly, Black's incredible journey came to an end in 2013 when she passed away from ampullary cancer. However, her impact on the world of cinema and her unforgettable performances will forever be remembered. Karen Black's career spanned over 50 years and included nearly 200 credits, earning her two Golden Globe Awards and an Academy Award nomination. Her unique and eccentric portrayals have left an indelible mark on the history of American cinema, solidifying her status as a true icon. Karen Black, born Karen Blanche Ziegler on July 1, 1939, in Park Ridge, Illinois, grew up in a creative household. Her mother, Elsie Mary, was a renowned writer, while her father, Norman Arthur Ziegler, was an engineer and businessman. Karen's paternal grandfather, Arthur Charles Ziegler, was a talented classical musician. With a sister, actress Gail Brown, and a brother, Karen had a supportive family upbringing. Raised in Park Ridge, Karen and her siblings enjoyed spending time on their uncle's farm near Green Bay, Wisconsin. It was during her teenage years that Karen developed a passion for acting and set her sights on a career in the theater. She sought out summer stock theater jobs, starting from humble beginnings as a toilet cleaner and eventually working her way up to being a prop girl and even performing in the chorus line. After graduating from Maine Township High School East in 1957, Karen pursued her dreams by enrolling at Northwestern University. She studied theater arts under the guidance of Alvina Krauss. However, Karen's time at university was cut short as she dropped out after completing two years of studies. Reflecting on her training, she expressed dissatisfaction with her experience. While attending college at the age of 19, Karen became a mother to a daughter named Diane. The child was given up for adoption at birth, but in the final years of Karen's life, they were able to reconnect. This experience added a layer of complexity to Karen's personal journey, as she navigated the challenges of motherhood and pursued her acting career. Do you want to explore more actors? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.